how did you have your accident? And it was what, on Wednesday? Wednesday morning. Normal morning, got up, went and had my oatmeal and coffee, and was headed to work. And on the sidewalk, I hit a rock. That caused the Segway to, to pop up onto just the left wheel and spin. And the spinning motion, I threw my right leg off the Segway, so I got my right leg onto the sidewalk. But unfortunately, the spin wedged my left foot in between the wheel well and a little center console that runs along the uh, foot placement area. So as the Segway spun, it snapped my uh, fibula and dislocated my ankle very badly. Of course, after it snapped, I kind of, I hit the ground. I was on the sidewalk. So I uh, grabbed my book bag and uh, put one hand on the ground and my right foot and tried to stand up. And as soon as I got my left foot off the sidewalk, it just kind of fell to the left in a, uh, in a position that I'm pretty sure it's never supposed to naturally be in. And this was accompanied by a pretty good bit of pain, and I could actually feel the loose bone kind of wiggle in there, at which point I was sure that my fibula was broken. Shortly thereafter, a very nice gentleman, who I don't know, pulled over in his pickup truck and asked if I needed any assistance. I told him that I had broken my leg, but not to worry, my little brother lived close by, and I'd be calling him to uh, come assist me with my Segway and my broken leg. And Brent came over and decided, thank God, that it was uh, in my best interest to go ahead and call an ambulance to come pick me up. And the ambulance came over and uh, they put me on the stretcher. Brent put the Segway in the car, took it back to the apartment and they carried me to this hospital. How long were you in the emergency room? Oh, way too long. I was in the ambulance way too long. It, the, you couldn't imagine how bad a speed bump hurts with a broken leg. Okay. And then I was in the, uh, the ER from probably 11 until getting on 4.30ish, I think. Oh, okay. When they finally brought me up to this room that I'm in now. And uh, get, then the next day, we... Uh, got up and then I was taken down to the OR where uh, I had surgery. They reset the bone with a stainless steel sleeve and it's got these grooved teeth on one end and they wrap the stainless steel, they put it around the bone and from what I understand as it heals the bone actually grows into these teeth anchoring the sleeve into the bone. Well, because of the quality and high grade of the stainless steel, I can't remember if they add an extra element of some sort into it, won't oxidize in the body for at least the first 200 years. Ah. So I'm, I'm thinking somewhere around my 215th, 230th birthday, they might have to look at pulling it out, but you know, until then I should be all right. Yes, very, very long, hard days of a... Uh, Lying. Lying around, catching up on Facebook. Thanks, guys, everybody that you know got on Facebook and chatted with me a little bit. Uh, there was a little TV involved. I played some video soccer on my iPhone with my dad here. And uh, that was probably the most fun, I think. And much to my chagrin, he got the better of me a couple of times. I'm chalking that up to the heavily medicated state. That you're in. Oh, yeah. If I, was, if I had my A game. I just don't think it'd be fair. All right. Any parting words? Yes. Don't break your leg. It is unpleasant, and uh, not much good will come of it, except for one thing. I've got a group of really great girls called the Mop Squad, and they have promised to come visit me in the hospital, and that might be the only shining light of this whole horrible debacle. So Mop Squad, if you actually see this, can't wait to see you girls.